there's a rare genetic disease that people are born with, some people, uh, where they have basically one leg shorter than the other. In other words, they're born with one normal leg and one leg slightly shorter than the other. And today, I'm gonna use this condition, this human condition, uh, as an analogy to help you understand when to lock your center differential on your Lexus GX460. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Today we're in the Mojave Desert as usual. We're in a 2021 Lexus GX460, and we're gonna discuss when to lock your center differential. Now this can be uh, a subject of confusion because Toyota and Lexus certainly don't make it very clear about when to actually lock your center diff. And there's a little bit of confusion surrounding it and people have uh, asked me for clarification. So here we go. You know, let's jump right into it. Now in the beginning I mentioned there's this, uh, you know, this genetic condition where some people are born with one leg shorter than the other basically. One normal leg and one leg shorter. And that's the best way I can uh, describe the difference between going off-road with your center differential either locked or unlocked. And I'll explain what I mean by that in a second. Basically, when you're off-road, you want to lock your center differential because it's going to give you 50-50 front and rear. Now, the confusion comes around when people go, well, this is a, the GX460 is a full-time four-wheel drive vehicle, which it is. So you got four wheels going all the time. So why not just go off-road in full-time four-wheel drive and just call it a day? And you can certainly do that. But the power split in full-time four-wheel drive is 60-40. Now, looking at the analogy, you can kind of see where I'm headed. Like the person born with one leg shorter than the other, the 60-40 split is like the person with one leg shorter than the other. They're gonna get around, but they'll probably get around better if they had both legs of equal length. Everybody would agree, I'm sure. So people with those conditions usually put some sort of, well, today they have surgery, but back in the day, uh, they would put, you know, a, basically a, extra heel in the short leg to kind of even them out. Today they can surgically correct it. But when you're, when you're off-road and you don't have your center differential locked and you're in the 60-40 default split, you're like uh, someone with that condition of one leg shorter than the other. So how does this relate to off-road? Well, when you're off-road, you want both legs the same length. So you want to have the center differential locked. You want that 50-50 split because you're going to get the best traction, just like a person with the same size legs. Now, I'm not trying to draw a light to anybody with this condition. It's the point of this analogy is to make it pragmatic so you can understand. I think we can all relate to the human body, right? And we can all relate to the human condition. You want your legs the same size. So same idea when you're going off-road. When you take this car off-road, put it in neutral, lock your center diff and you're going to have both legs the same size now can you off-road in full-time four-wheel drive absolutely we do it all the time so why then would i pick one versus the other very simple if you're familiar with the road and you know where you're going and you know what you're up against let's go this way okay you know what you're up against uh, and you're familiar with either the trail or the road or whatever off-road condition it's in your neighborhood or you've been down the trail a million times, whatever. If you're familiar with it, then you can go ahead and get away with the 60-40 split just fine. That's why they made full-time all-wheel drive for those who live both on and off-road or simply people that are just too lazy to, to uh, switch over the into four-wheel drive when they do go off-roading for mild off-roading or familiar off-roading. So bottom line of my babbling, if you're familiar with where you're going off-road, you can leave it in street condition, that's fine. Just like the person with, you know, different length legs, you'll get around just fine. However, if you are unfamiliar with where you're going and you're unfamiliar with that trail you're going down, you're going down a brand new trail. Oh, hey doggy, someone over there. If you're going, what's up? Um, if you um, are un 
familiar with the trail and you're going down this trail for the first time and you're brand new to it, then you're going to want to get the maximum traction, just like a person with the same length legs. And in this situation, you're just going to be in a better, objectively better situation. You're not going to have any issues insofar as, um, you're not going to have any issues insofar as traction goes. You're going to be a-okay. So when you're off-road and you're unfamiliar, that's when you want that maximum traction. You don't want any sort of handicap when you're going off-road and you're unfamiliar with where you're going. You want the maximum grip available. So you may not think that that extra 10% from the default 60-40 splint to that 50-50 makes much of a difference. But like, again, and I'm sorry to keep going back to this, this example, of, of these these people with different length legs it's about 10 percent difference and it's a severe disability and a severe handicap to their mobility your car off-road is the same way okay again it's not night and day you're going to get around just fine but if you want the absolute best ability of your car simply lock the diff when you go off-road every time you don't know where you're going and always remember to do this before you run into obstacles and not after you run into obstacles. The last thing you want to do is be not prepared for where you're going. In other words, the best off-road advice I've ever been given was to be configured before and not before you get into trouble and not after you get in trouble. So that's why I'm a proponent of locking the center diff, putting on all your traction aids, whatever car you're driving, be in the best configuration possible before you get into trouble. And when we go on unfamiliar trails, you're definitely gonna wanna lock the center diff because that's gonna give you the maximum advantage. When you get, when, if you don't do that and don't lock your center diff and you get into a rough patch, you're more likely to dig in and then it's too late to mess around with you know, locking your center diff, this, that, the other. So anyway, I just wanted to clarify in today's video using a human example of that extra 10%. When you see those people or that condition and their legs like that, it may not seem like much, it's only 10%, but your car is the same way. You even it out, it makes a big difference. I think you get the analogy of my babbling. I'm just trying to make it, again, pragmatic and hit home something everybody can relate to and that's the human body. The car is the same way. If you found this video helpful, please remember to like and subscribe. Thank you and have a great, great day. Thank you.